Hi, I'm Bob Martin. I'm the manager of the Central Applications Microcontroller Group based here in San Jose for Atmel. Atmel first got into the Maker community by being the primary processor within the Arduino and then we increased our presence at the Maker Faire as a formal entity. So why did our Arduino pick the Atmel AVR as their first processor? The Atmel AVR is an extremely elegant and simple microcontroller to use. The availability of a free uh, GCC toolchain allowed Arduino to implement the entire open source community in the development of that project. Their hardware is open, their software is open. That was a key enabler. Very few microcontrollers at the time, or microcontroller vendors at the time, had a completely open source GCC compiler. The Arduino part allows non-technical people to implement their ideas in a very quick fashion. They have this idea which gets turned into an algorithm which is just a series of steps in the microcontroller. And to implement those series of steps, the Arduino environment makes that really easy to do. As we introduce the Arduino DUE, the new board, powered by our, our SAM 3X processor, directly into the Atmel Studio 6 environment, which now allows almost a seamless transition from the Arduino environment, where people are just learning about algorithms and dealing with how to make things do it, into the Studio 6 environment, which allows them to improve that performance and actually dig as deep as they want to go into the development environment and into the chip itself. The maker movement is going to get bigger from now on. There are some key ideas and technology and inspiration that comes from this maker movement we can find nowhere else that will help us design better microcontrollers. I attended the first maker fair, I believe it was nine years ago, as a hobbyist, as a robotic robotics hacker, as a hardware hacker, as uh, someone who's been involved in the embedded microcontroller industry all my life. And I found the combination of the artists and the engineers and the software techies and the craftspeople and the mechanics and the welders all coming together in a single environment to explore and build things. I persuaded Atmel to join the maker movement in a large way in the year 2011. Our first official presence was in San Mateo in, the year, in 2012, but it was a very non-corporate booth, which was important to me to get reinforce that we were in touch with the maker community and that we wanted to provide a very ground roots kind of level presence at the show. At uh, Maker Faire San Mateo 2013, I had the pleasure of meeting Quinn, who is the CEO, the 12-year-old CEO of his company, who has taken an Arduino-based robot and has now become a bit of an internet and YouTube sensation. Undoubtedly, one of the coolest technologies that has come along that is well known using Atmel's technology has been the 3D printer. Almost every major 3D printer is based on an Atmel AVR, and I'm looking forward to even more exciting things coming up.